Hey, I'm Jenny DeLacy, the Visibility Coach, and I am on the online prosperity show with Prosper, and I cannot wait to share our conversation with you. We're going to talk all about why use video, how easy it is to get started with video, and also to get over some of those hurdles that people put in the way of getting started with something that is actually going to blow up your business. It's going to grow your people, your profile, and your profit, and I can't wait to share those tips with you on the show. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the visibility queen herself, Jenny. Jenny, how are you doing, my love? I'm really well. How are you? Absolutely. I thought you were going to come and strangle me for calling you the visibility queen, but you actually help people uh, to be visible online in this world of ours where everybody is trying to be an entrepreneur or business person. There's so much noise. And you come up as a professional that helps other entrepreneurs to be seen and to actually show their credibility using the power of video. Now, I'm exactly. pretty nervous to be talking to an expert like yourself right now. And I'm supposing a lot of people that are watching this video are always nervous to be in front of a camera or to be um, you know, presenting their work or their expertise to their audiences through the power or the magic touch of video. Now, tell us a little bit about how you got started and how you are actually helping people out there, Jenny. Okay. So my background is actually in learning and development. So I have a master's in education and training. I've worked in corporate uh, change for 25 years. And I had a little sabbatical after the last uh, full-time contract because it was actually really horrible and really hard. And my kids really suffered. And I thought, you know what? I can't work full-time plus hours anymore. The money's fantastic, but actually what at what cost? And so I had a little, you know, relax actually for a few months and didn't do a lot and wondered what I should do. And I thought, actually, I'm a pretty good writer. I've been writing programs for people forever, right? So I decided to be a copywriter. And looking back now, I, I can see why I did that. It's because I wanted to be myself. I wanted to be quiet and, and sit behind my computer and have a little break and learn some stuff but not and be creative but not actually get out there. Um, and during that time, I used video in my business to generate some um, interest on my website and, and on my Facebook um, page and LinkedIn as well. Um, and what I realized about myself in that time, as lots of entrepreneurs do when you're going through this journey of working out what you want to do with when you grow up kind of thing, um, is I realized that I'm a rampant extrovert and a wildly haphazard human being and actually those those are two not no good ingredients for copywriting uh, and so I thought what do I really want to do and, it, and it's about educating people it's about working with people one-on-one um, -on -one, and I'm a strategic person I'm a systems person and so because of the video stuff had started to work and I was really enjoying it I thought actually I'm not seeing a lot of this going on this is probably two more than two and a half years ago now I thought I'm not, oh, I'm nearly three years now, not seeing a lot of it. What's going on? How come people aren't using it? And I started asking questions about why aren't you using video and what, what, you know, I'm sure there's ways you could use it and people going on, oh, no way, no way, you know? And I thought, oh, actually, I think I should come up with something for this because it actually can be that simple. And so in that time, I ran my first workshop, I think two and a bit years ago. Um, and so I've sort of been doing that ever since. And the evolution of that has been, identifying the stuff that's stopping people and there's four four things that people always raise when i ask that question um, that i can share with you in a sec and they then i deliver them in five over a five-step um, system that i can implement either one-on-one -on -one or i do it in workshops or what have you and and the core of all of that has to be let's be strategic about being visible what why are we doing it not just scattergun and kind of being everywhere and everything but actually, <clears throat> what are our core messages and what do we really want to be known for? Um, stuff that people obviously do in other ways in their businesses, but they're not applying it to video. Um, and I've worked with some people who are just simply too scared um, to get started at all. So I have a little um, gentle kind of kickstart for those guys as, as well. Um, so it's been really good. The most of the work I do now is one-on-one -on -one with um, setting people up to DIY and then pushing them out to the videographer um, or the studio when they're ready. 
Absolutely. That that's a lot of work and it's quite remarkable given the journey and the time that you've done it all together. Um, you know, it's 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 helping a lot of people based on the testimonials that we're seeing um on your website. Now, Jenny, I'm probably a business person just like everybody else that's watching right now. And I've got a website, I've got a pretty good and decent Facebook following and I've got a pretty decent uh, Instagram uh, following. I've got loads of referrals coming in, you know, because people see me in networking events. Why should I dabble into video and why is it important? It's a really good question. So a lot of people come to me when they're at the beginning or they've started a bit and then they don't have a, a, a profile. But let's say the three sort of um, outcomes from implementing video um, to be the visible expert are growing your profile, your people and your profit. So let's say you've got enough people, you're feeling like you're getting enough referrals and, and that stuff's working for you and you feel really positive about the conversion that you've got and the amount of time people are spending on your website and stuff and you're getting the right kind of clients so you're happy with the clients that you're working with. I see video as something that then retains those clients that we start focusing more on client retention and nurture in that case rather than attraction and profile raising um, and also one of the best results I've had is for a client who was spending a five to eight hours per client onboarding them so they're getting lots of leads they're getting new clients but the bottleneck was actually the, the onboarding bit when the when the magic should be happening and the client should be starting and getting results themselves um, and we put a lot of video in that process so that she wasn't repeating herself all the time so that's the profitability part of of using video in your business great stuff i hear leverage there because once you can leverage yourself mm. and be in many places so many times that actually uh, multiplies your earning potential which makes it really hard but Considering that the bar to entry and, 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 and having a fully set up uh, production set, like I can see behind you is a massive backdrop and you probably have got lights coming from whatever corner and you know, you've probably had a makeup crew and people that would have <laughs> set you up for makeup looking beautiful for this video today. Thanks so much for that. Um, what if I don't have any of those things and it just becomes so overwhelming for somebody who just really wants to do what they know best or be in their zone of genius? Yeah, I love that. And the, um, the answer to that is that the mechanics are one of the things that stop people, right? So people have this impression that you need all this stuff. You need to buy all this tech. We need a fancy microphone like, like Prosper's. No, you really don't. Um, and there are two things that everybody needs. The third thing is basically free, and I'll explain that in a second. But you really just need your smartphone and a tripod and some light. Um, because realistically, you're, as long as I can see you properly, um, the, you, you, can, you can create 4K video on your phone. So it's just about putting some really simple techniques into practice so that your content and your message is really sound and that the tech does not trip you up. Get fancy later. You know, I use natural light as much as I possibly can because it's here and it's free. Um, but also you can get equipment on eBay that's not expensive. And some of mine's lasted two and a half years and it was stuff that I bought way, way back um, for well under a hundred dollars. So I think that the production value, you know, is it 10 times better if I've spent 10 times more on the microphone? Absolutely not. It isn't, you know. Um, and so I want, you know, I really encourage people to tick the box of the mechanics, tick it off, just get what you need, get started, get over the sort of uh, cringy kind of awkwardness about using stuff you haven't used before. And then you don't really have to think about it again, you know. So you can definitely start on a budget, that's for sure. Absolutely. So you've explained to us that the bar to entry has been lowered. We no longer have to have an opera like studio for us to reach out and retain to our audience. And also you've mentioned that just start small and, um, you know, just keep proceeding um, that way. You've also elaborated to us how important video is uh, in as much as it's no longer just about, um, you know, prospecting, you're using it for client retention and also leverage, right? No, you do have um, a five-step process that you mentioned to us that you take people through now that people know that it's easy for them to 
um, you know, start and, and, and dabble into this whole video thing and you explain to us that the closer you are to the camera, the closer you are to the bank. Um, what is that um, process that you then take people that's specifically unique to you, Danny? So with um, our production of the videos themselves, that's actually step number three. The two steps before that is where I spend the most time and it gets best bang for your buck. So if you sit down and do plan and prepare, which are the first two steps, what we come out with is a profit focused strategy. So what job are the videos going to play for you? So remember we mentioned it might be about client attraction. It might be raising your profile, in which case it's more about introducing you and what you do and showing you with clients and maybe getting video testimonials with clients and stuff. Whereas our client retention stuff is definitely more about the operations of your business and how to help your clients through, you know, frequently asked questions or whatever, but we've got to nut that out at the beginning. What is the, what job are the videos going to play? And then the client centered stuff starts to come out of that. What questions are we going to answer for our clients that are going to relate then to our own profitability that are going to bring them to us and keep them with us. So I spend a lot of time on that, the profit um, focus and the client centered content strategy. And then preparing is about, what is individual pieces of content? What are they going to do for us? What are they going to look like? And we kind of storyboard them then and we split them up into um, scenes, if you like. So some of it might be an event you're going to host. So you might want to plan out some scenes. I want some, I want the entrance in a video. I want some people. I want a bit of buzz. I want me on the stage. And we really map that out in, in the prepare phase before we do our production. And then the last two steps are publish and promote, which is about post-production and editing. And can we do it simply? Yes, you can. Um, can I get fancy? Yes, you can. You know, so they're the steps about SEO is in publish and product and um, promote is where we put our, where we, where you're going to house it, you know, where it's going to go, how are we going to repurpose our content so that we can get the, the most juice out of the time that we've spent creating it. So they're the five steps, plan, prepare, produce, publish, promote. Absolutely. Well, you did say that you spent two years, you know, coming up with, with this. Um, I don't have that much time to be learning how to publish, how to SEO, how to uh, edit my videos. How then does that work out for me? Um, so there's a few ways to do it. I basically went to a couple of experts, plus I learned a lot just by practicing and trying things out, right? Um, and so my clients don't have to do that because I've already done it. So my online resources are for people who really are happy to, you know, dig in and, and sort of learn um, really simple editing techniques. If you need anything really fancy, um, and by fancy I mean, you know, different sort of content and, and music and all sorts of outside footage and stuff like that, then you definitely Hollywood need to go style. to Hollywood yeah, style. Hollywood so style. That's right. But for our sort of social sharing um, stuff, you know, you can DIY it. And so I either recommend that obviously my clients use the online resources I have. Um, and some of those are in free blogs on my website anyway, but also you can outsource it. You can find a VA perhaps that specializes in video, which uh, more and more people are looking for VAs with those skills. And I'm encouraging every time I speak to VAs, <laughs> I'm encouraging them like be that person. Can you be the go-to person for video? Cause I would have work for that person you know all the time um so you don't have to do it all yourself and you don't have to spend you know a top end editor is probably 80 to 100 dollars a finished minute of video but you can you can spend a lot less because we we're not out there trying to be tv producers absolutely so jenny literally you're telling us there's no excuse to be not putting out video content out there mm. There really isn't. <laughs> Not that I can think of anyone. No one's been able to come up with an excuse that, you know, one of the ones that comes up sometimes is I'm actually, I'm quite an extrovert, uh, quite an introvert. Someone will say, I'm too shy. I really just really can't see that working. Um, and so I like to talk to those people about when you look at the camera, it can be quite um, daunting because you're not looking at yourself on the screen. You're looking at a black dot. Um, and one of the ways around that is you have a lot of control when you're pre-recording videos you have loads of control over the stop and press and start and stop button um, 
you can stop and start as many times as you like. But also, I like to encourage people to just imagine you're just speaking to one person because actually only one person at a time is going to watch a pre-recorded video anyway. And so don't sort of get um, daunted thinking like there's this whole public speaking experience because it's not. It's really just you speaking to one person who needs what you're about to share um, in their life or their business and to change our, our, um, our focus and our mindset around that. Does that make sense? Oh, it does make a lot of sense. Absolutely. Great stuff. Now, I can't thank you enough for your time there, Jenny. I mean, obviously, there could be heaps of stuff that we could talk about. Um, and if somebody has been watching this video right now and has been mesmerized by your, <laughs> your speech, your talk, and the way you are, your demeanor, your persona, and they want some of that, um, of that pizzazz that you have there, <laughs> what's the best way that people can get a hold of you, Jenny? I think that the, my website has to be a really great place to land because there's lots of resources there um, so they can have a flick around and look at some other Facebook Live stuff versus pre-recorded stuff, um, but also get in touch with me on my website um, just through the contact page. I think that's by far the, um, the simplest way um, to let your viewers uh, see what's going on in the background. But obviously I'm on all the socials as well, but the website's got the most juice, I think. Absolutely. Like you said, um, you know, when you're doing a video, speak as if you're speaking to that one person. Now there's Sally who's watching this video right now and she's just going, yeah, you guys can say that because obviously you've got the expertise and you've got the know-how and you've got the time, but that's just not me. What sort of words can you give to Sally right now um, to get her or him to get up and actually start doing um, you know, video in a way that is going to be profitable for them and mm. also, um, you know, help their clients. Um, I'd say about that fear that, mm -hmm. that, you know, how we, we're so used to, as entrepreneurs, we're so used to kind of questioning, what am I fearful of right now? What's stopping me um, from growing my business right now? Is it because I don't think there's a place for video or actually I'm too scared of the technology or am I too scared of I'm going to look silly or maybe I don't like the sound of my own voice or so sort of narrow down really what what it is that's really you know I don't know what to say I don't want to look like an idiot maybe nobody will watch all those normal there are normal fears around video everybody has them I actually don't know anyone who loved the sound of their own voice actually like no one likes it so I sort of I narrow it down and say all of those things are absolutely universal I haven't met anyone that didn't have some um, uh, conniption about something but they're all fears that you can get over by taking action and that's true in so many parts of our businesses anyway but you can't get better at the thing until you do the thing so there's no way that you can lose the fear of video until you actually take action and create a few and see what it's like um, so I just encourage everybody to pick up their phone you know pick up their phone find the camera lens find your you know camera app and just create a video and just speak to the camera and get used to where to look and the, the fear go, it does definitely go away, but it take, you've got to take action. Absolutely. So from what I hear, it's feel the fear and do it anyway. And you will thank your camera later. Well, yes, I can't thank you enough. I'm afraid we've just run out of tape, but um, we could have gone on and on uh, with this show here. And if you're watching this show right now, you would understand and appreciate that people like Jenny are up there and they will coach you to do it well. You will actually stand out for the right reasons and you'll actually start feeling rock solid, confident in your message and also the technology around, um, you know, uh, video uh, craft. And also you actually fall in love with the way that you look on camera a bit. Um, you know, if you talk to uh, Jenny well, she'd actually give you a few tips on how to actually look like a million bucks as she does yeah. at the moment. Now, Jenny, I can't thank you enough for your time you. and your expertise on the show today. Thank you. It was great. Thanks for having me. Absolutely.